Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And on your screens, you do see the Longines Navigation Big Eye. Today, I'm at the headquarter of Longines here in Switzerland in Saint-Imier. And I will present you some novelties of Longines starting with the chronograph. So if you're seeing this video as the first one, if you discover this video as the first one, be sure to also Check out for the other videos we are going to make a little bit later or the other way around if you see another video and this was the first video. So anyhow, we're doing several videos. Subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Fasten your seatbelt for something new. We offer you the chance to win a priceless experience. New subscribers with an activated notification can win a watch manufacturer trip to Switzerland. Together with our partner from Tobel, we give away 10 all-inclusive trips worth a total of 50,000 Swiss francs. More details on watchadvisor.com. Furthermore, register there to double your chances to win. See you soon in Switzerland. The watch is not new, as you all know. We have seen the model before with a black dial in a steel case. This is now titanium. Initially, the watch was launched in 2017. This is a titanium case, much lighter, of course. Um, what you see here is a beautiful chronograph, 41 millimeters case diameter. We have been uh, measuring with a rule because Longines has not been providing us uh, the official figure about 14 millimeters of thickness. It's uh, yep, a quite thick case if you see it that way, but uh, when it's on the wrist, it is a sporty chronograph, so it deserves to be, let's say, it, it, it wouldn't look, look as good as it does if it would be just an ultra thin case. So the thickness is okay in my uh, humble opinion. And then if you are questioning yourself, the lug to lug distance, I've been measuring 49 millimeters. So from one end of the lug to the other end, 49 millimeters. Um, the watch is... And that is also something you know when it was issued in 2007, a reissue of a chronograph they did in the 1970s. Uh, the name comes from the huge, um, from the huge minute counter, big I. You have minute counter, you have a hour counter, and of course the running second. Um, there is this edition is powered on oh, this edition. The chronograph is powered uh, by a movement that is specially done for Longin. Uh, it's the L688.5 featuring a column wheel and a silicon hairspring. The watch is not cosc tested, but uh, there's no need to any do to do any cosc testing because again, I can guarantee you um, what ETA delivers um, to uh, its uh, brands is in a quality that I am sure that this watch, if it would be tested at cost, would easily go through. And there's absolutely no need. You can trust ETA. They are delivering a quality that is for sure better than minus four, than minus four and plus six and plus six seconds. This is what cost would um, certify, but I guarantee you this watch is more precise than minus four plus six seconds. This is, um, they wouldn't sell it otherwise to you. Um, no flyback function, if you are questioning this, uh, we have a start-stop. Uh, the haptical feeling of uh, what you get when you start the chronograph, as it is a column chronograph, is what you expect. There's an absolutely defined point, you feel it, and then the chronograph stops. This is only possible with a column wheel. You have that little nose uh, searching the information on the columns, either in between, then the chronograph um, is working and uh, is, is the, the intermediate chronograph wheel is connected to the central chronograph wheel and then the chronograph is starting and then you, this is when it starts. And this is a feeling you only get with a column wheel chronograph. Um, there's nothing you can discuss here because that's how it is. Start, stop and yes, reset. The reset button is here. Also very good feeling you get from the watch so everything 
I would say is perfect. Waterproof, nest 30 meters. The dial is grained and has a petrol blue color <laughs> that shades almost to black on the flange. And you can see um, it is grained. Can you see it? So the surface has a slightly matte touch that looks gorgeous and makes, yeah, kills also some reflections. Um, the sapphire crystal is being treated uh, with anti-reflective, uh, has an anti-reflective treatment on both sides. This is also why we can deliver you a view on the dial as if there would almost be no sapphire crystal on it. Makes that little difference. It's worth treating those. Look, you think that there is no sapphire crystal and I will again Go in a little bit in a more angle and if you closely look on your screens, we are filming in 4K. So uh, if you did not choose quality 4K on your screens, do it if you can. And if you look here, you can see that grain. This is how it is. And you see it. It's grained and it's looking really gorgeous, delivering an, an, yeah, a little bit of a vintage appeal. You have the vintage Super Luminoma, Super Luminova being applied on the dial and I will now restart the chronograph in front of you so watch when I press the button when I start look so nice haptical feeling perfect readability big eye I will uh, take the hands out again so you can see the minute counter this is where the name comes from big eye the minute counter and yeah, uh, 4 Hz, 28,800. So the hand, central second hand swipes in one eighth of a second along the dial. Then, um, good to know, you are always questioning this. In between, here, in between, 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters, and uh, it tapers down to 18 millimeters on this side. You have pin buckle with the um, hourglass winged hourglass logo of Longin nicely perfectly matching leather strap I'm making a letting the watch pass by on your screens there is some stitching we're taking a little bit of vintage look two loops and See, 20, I didn't cheat. No see-through case button. Longine logo once again, and I think there's no need to show uh, the movement because this is how it should be. Um, you have an airplane silhouette, you have some information about um, the titanium case, the waterproofness, that the sapphire crystal has a anti-reflective treatment on both sides. This is the S here. The, um, Yep, Holger is going in, 30 meters, Swiss made and all you need, reference number, and a nice case button, look, the airplane, soleil or, yeah, sunburst effect, you can see the sunburst effect when I turn it, beautiful watch, and the really cool thing, <laughs> because this is saving our money and our Wallets is the price, uh, full titanium, including the pin buckle, titanium. So the really, it's a titanium case, ultra light. You almost have nothing in your hands and the price is 3,200 Swiss francs, including VAT. I really um, get nervous saying this, 3,200 Swiss francs. Imagine what you get in uh, a specially for Longin done movement, a silicone hairspring. A uh, titanium case. Look at this beautiful um, dial uh, turning uh, from a more black color into a blue color. You have everything. You have a color wheel. You have, there's nothing missing. 3,200 Swiss francs. That's almost frightening. Not for me, not for you, of course, but frightening for all those little competitors out there who are selling watches for much more and probably offering a little bit less than Longines does once again. And uh, those who are uh, following our channel for a longer time, you know that I've been showing lots of Longines already 
And I always point out this incredible quality. And I uh, want to say once again, um, if you're wondering yourself where to position Longines these days, um, position the brand where Omega was before it started to get a master chronometer. So Longines really reached a quality level that is incredible. Five years of guarantee. Okay, you can't make anything wrong. I told you, 49 millimeters, um, approximately 14 millimeters. We have been uh, measuring it with a rule, boxed glass, treated anti-reflective. I will also run you through the watch from this side. And let me just close the pin, uh, the strap, and I will make a 360 turn. So as promised, look how the, watt, how the dial changes also. Depending on the light that falls on it, uh, we are filming in natural light here. We are lucky enough to find, we have found a room, lots of natural light. And depending on the ty type of light and depending on the intensity, you will get reflections and the dial will always look a little bit different. This is also a nice view here when you see the boxed glass distortions, of course, but this is vintage. It's so nice to have these little details. You see the strap, we come up. Titanium, not steel, that's titanium, what you see in your picture now, of course. The winged hourglass, say hello. And I finish my little journey with the watch. There it is. The Longines Navigation Big Eye Edition 2021, as I said, launched the first time in 2017. And it's a watch Longines is has been uh, presented, has presented the first time in the 1970s. One last few, and we owe you the wrist shot, of course. Are you interested in the Swiss watch industry? Check out Fontobel's latest Swiss watch industry outlook on fontobel.com slash watches. Well, uh, thanks for watching my little presentation of um, uh, Longi Novelty 2021. Um, your comments are welcome. Your questions are welcome. If I can't answer them, Longin will do that for me for you. And I will pass on those questions, but I assume I will be able to answer the questions. And uh, once uh, we get sun, and wait, that's I love it. We have a uh, sun is coming out and changing a, the look of that dial once again. I was talking before. You see, it's it's how the light comes on that dial. You have different aspects. Last view. Bye bye for now. And yeah, and do of course watch do of course watch and look for the other launching videos we are going to tape in a while bye bye hey have you packed your luggage if not do so subscribe to our channel and hit the bell you will get the chance to win your exclusive trip to switzerland